तो वेलकम और वेलकम बैक टू बी टाइड एंड यप वी फाइनली क्रिएटेड टू फ्री प्लग इन एंड द फर्स्ट वन इज ई ओ एस इंटीग्रेशन किट एंड द सेकेंड वन इज ई ओ एस वॉइस इंटीग्रेशन किट सो द फंक्शन एज द नेम से इज वुड बी टू इंटीग्रेट ई ओ एस इन टू द योर प्रोजेक्ट इजली एंड ऑल्सो लाइक ई ओ एस वॉइस चैट इन योर प्रोजेक्ट सो बिकॉज दिस वीडियो इज स्पेसिफिकली फॉर द वॉइस चैट प्लग इन वी ऑलरेडी हैव अ फ्यू डॉक्यूमेंट वेरी गुड डॉक्यूमेंटेशन एंड वीडियोज फॉर द ई ओ एस किट इट सेल्फ सो वी वुड बी फोकसिंग ऑन द ई ओ एस वॉइस चैट प्लग इन ऑन दिस वन सो इट्स आउट ऑन गेटअप सो इट वुड बी आउट ऑन मार्केट प्लेस विद इन अ डे और टू बट फॉर नाउ इट्स ऑलरेडी आउट ऑन गेटअप यू कैन गो टू रिलीज एंड डाउनलोड the version that you want to use it's available in 4.27 5 and 5.1 you can check the features out here so the basic point i would like to tell you is uh, these kits are like mostly i would try to create more and more open source uh, plugins and then uh, on marketplace you can get it for some very small 14 dollar 15 dollars price and like that would just get you extra support from more team members from the team and also some good example projects but if you are an indian cannot afford doing that mark uh, github would be the place to get to so uh, let's go to us voice integration kit uh, releases and also remember to start the project just that it helps like a motivation boost something something like that maybe and download the version you are using uh, i am i am open with uh, the 5.1 version so i'm just going to download the 5.1 version and uh, so you can see all the projects that i'm working on like eos integration kit only so my last few weeks i have just worked on the single thing and i will make it keep and should folder now you can download it uh, from this point also oh sorry from the main project also but this, these are the binary files and these are the source files so source file basically means you need to add a c++ class to your project and then it will work but binary files do not require a c++ class so i would suggest uh, going with the binary file and as we have the 5.1 version here i am going to unzip it and then we have this one and yeah so we will copy this from here and also put this in in and create a third person uh, empty project completely blueprint no c++ rec uh, is required now you need to go to uh, settings plugins and search for uh, oops there was a power cut i will be back in a second hmm so enable this plugin and just press on restart or do not press on restart uh my screens are getting loaded again and again so hmm so what you can do is make your folder show in explorer then go to your project and right click and create a new folder for plugins and paste the plugin here after doing this you can freely close the project and uh, restart it why did it lose its size and then open the project sorry i do not know what's happening to the generator it's just again and again starting and closing up hmm so uh now let's go to project settings oh sorry plugins and then project and we have the eos uh, voice integration kit ready so this works now what we need to do next is uh go to your project folder go to config and default engine.ini and scroll down a little bit and you will have to add a few lines here now these lines are available on the documentation so either you can uh, check the video's description or go to documentation from here so we have this so copy this thing up 
So this is the uh, setup config. The documentation is still not ready because this is just released a few hours. So I need a little bit time to take, make the documentation better. So when this is done, let's, uh, let me open up the dev portal. So we had two products uh, for the last video that we made. So I will create a new product just to show, showcase the process from start. And I will name this example project three and create. Now open this project up. Go to the client section and add a new client policy for uh, maybe we just need the voice uh, things to be started here so we will just check the voice options and enable it and one more thing I would uh, say is for instance if you are like having a server setup and you want it to be more stable then have separate clients for uh, trusted server and client and then link them up but what the side around like way we use is we just uh, make the clients create the room token and everything so that way uh, we do not require the, only the server to manage everything we can request everything from the clients themselves so uh, I hope you get my point and we will name this uh, voice policy and add new client policy and then we will add a new client for with this voice policy voice client and add this new client let's go back to SDKs and let's check we will have to add an application so for that we need to go to permissions and enable these two permissions I we do not require this like we do not want the us login in our project but we will still have to link it to our applications then so let's copy the values from one this screen to the other uh, yeah so we have deployment ID here so we will put it in the deployment ID we have sandbox ID goes in uh, sandbox ID product ID is this one client ID is this one client secret is this one and just save it now you can restart the project I usually have a tool named the restart uh, editor one of the best plugins <laughs> it's free and like you can just press on that button to restart the editor every time so it's very cool yeah this button you can press this to restart the project and yeah that's done now let's create go to level blueprint I will just show you by joining a room that things are working fine and the first thing we need to make is on event construct oh sorry event begin play I will be so just to make it clear again if your game is not using EOS login things this method can be used with both the uh, lobby and the uh, trusted server method so you can use this with dedicated servers also and the listen servers also so the first thing is we will have to initialize EOS voice chat get player controller so we will have to check if the player controller is valid or not because everything is dependent upon the player controller in the plugin because we wanted to use the static functions then we will add a delay and if it is not valid we will just wait it wait for it to become valid so after the EUS is initialized we will make a branch on false we will print EUS voice yet would not be initialized and if it is initialized we will go to evik functions and we will connect to EOS voice chat 
now we will have to again link it to the player controller i will make a reroute node here and on result we will add an event we will name this connect to eos voice chat result and if connection to voice chat was like uh, okay like we were able to connect it out then we will uh, log in to eos voice chat and this requires a player name for your character so i will pass in example player name and then get a result so we will name this login to eos voice chat result and then make a branch so now we are connected to eos and now we can uh, uh get into other different rooms so now what we need to do is we will like if i want to join a room uh if i want to join a room for like on dedicated server or anything so basically rooms are group of people talking to each other so you can have multiple rooms joined at a different time so for instance in pubg i think you know uh we have three types of rooms one is the world chat where you can talk to everyone second is the uh proximity chat what we say something like that and the third is the team chat so we have three different types of room so you can join three rooms and like uh are uh, only talk in one or only talk in a few so we have settings for those so for now we will just uh we will get us voice room token so we will not we will need to name the voice room so i will for instance uh if you are making a team based game where i want to have a team name i will make it team uh team one maybe and player name you can get the player name from here or you can copy a paste here or you can get us uh get logged in us voice chat user and this will return the player name and for controller we will link it right up here and for the client IP, you can pass in the IP that you are like uh, currently having or a local IP. Normally, uh, you can use this IP locally for local testing. So basically it would not take any IP preferences as, as far as I believe. So you can use this or you can pass in a client IP. Now, what will this do is basically EOS will try to find the best voice server nearest to your location. So like the closest the server, the better voice conversation you can have. And then when you have this EOS voice uh, room token result, if this was successful, then we will just join the room. So this is the last step. I know a lot of steps, but uh, sorry, I know there are a lot of steps, but again, you are like, uh, you are doing a good thing. <laughs> you have to call a few events. So just link this and link this. Now voice room name is the same one that you want to have it here. So just pass in that and room data is this and result. Uh, uh join us room result and i will just print it so one more thing uh if you want to have a true trusted server solution like where the server is only able to get this thing up so according to the eos uh, documentation this function should be called by a server only but normally I do not see anyone doing that. Yeah, anyone can call this, uh, even the clients. But if you want to follow it according to the documentation, you can call this function on the server and then pass this room data to the clients. And the clients can call this function and pass the room data here. So this is done. Let's test this out. Hopefully everything works and I, I will be able to join the team chat room. So I will play in the editor itself.
and looks like I am able to join connection to conference succeeded on join room this team one I, I joined the team one and it was successful and I got the result true now uh, ignore this error so something like field client base URL was not found but no worries uh, we are first, like got, we we finally got access to it so everything works so congrats we are able to like basically make so we have a few test strings sorry i will remove it by the next version but uh, i was just so confused at a few points that i added a log of lot of log is log printing thing so that's why you see a lot of logs here but that would be removed by next update and you will have a option to enable those if you want but for now we are able to join the us uh basically team one voice channel and anyone can so in the same way uh, if you want to change your input device output device or things like that everything has a function already so you can get all the input methods for this like all the input methods and then uh, whatever the user selects you can get the id of it and then set the input that the US uh, input output method and the method ID will go here. So this way you can do it. So I hope this video helped you a lot. And after you have joined the room, you can again leave it also in the same way that we have uh, leave US voice room and you can pass the voice name here and you would leave it. So let me just add this team one. Sorry for the delay, but yeah, I will add it here. And add a delay of maybe five seconds and I leave the room. Print a string and this way. I can even make a event tick uh, even either, although event tick is not something I would suggest you to use or don't use, don't use, please don't use. Uh, what we can do is here we can make a delay, and after the delay, we can get all get players in EOS voice room and pass in the voice name here and reference can go from here and for each loop and print the players that we have in our session and just make this with a delay of one second so this way I will know that yeah that I, I am in the session honestly. So you can see we are example player name example player name gets printed again and again. I join the room. Oh sorry I leave it sorry. After the delay I leave it. So conference close has been requested. EOS conference ended. Stop rendering. Uh, callback info is removed. So that means we were able to do it. Same way you have all every, every function for logout and things like that. So that sums up the video here. Thanks a lot to, to all the Patreons and uh, all those who are going to purchase the plugin on Marketplace. And see you in the next one. We are upcoming with a game lift plugin, a photon plugin. Uh, so a lot of things in the bucket for now. So that is it. Uh, new videos on Cliffhaven US would be upcoming. So thanks once again.